Hey, welcome to Cody's Car Guys. So when you've got one of those, uh, hey, welcome to Cody's Car Guys. So when you got to change out your alternator or you got to do a tensioner pulley um, on your 6.0s, one of the quick and easy ways, because the tensioners on these to get your serpentine belt on is such a pain in the butt. So here's one of those quick and easy things you can do. Literally take these right here and get them out of the way. Get this side done. I can literally change out an alternator in under five minutes on the 6.0s. By the time you get it even a wrench or anywhere close to your tensioner on here, I can have it already switched out. All you gotta do. Technically speaking, I don't even have to change out the uh, or, un, or disconnect the batteries. I can actually just undo everything once it's apart. Literally just loosen this guy up. She'll pop out of place. She'll pop forward. And let me show you how easy it is. Now it will pop forward when it's doing it. All right. Now that will give you all the access you need to go ahead you disconnect that. Be careful what you're doing. You go ahead and you take your serpentine belt off. Set it aside. Change out your alternator if you got to do it. Now, right now, we've got to change out a tensioner pulley real quick. So, we're going to change that, which is down here. We've got a 13 millimeter bolt. We're going to swap that out because we got a squeaky pulley down below. So, let me get that done and then I'm going to show you the coolest little trick where you can just put your pulley or your alternator right back on and, you don't need, and it actually take care of your uh, tensioner at the same time. All right, we went ahead and changed out the tensioner pulley. We did the grooved one on this side right here. So what I'll do is, so if you had to change out your alternator, literally you sit it back up in there, you get it about where it's gotta go. I'm gonna show you a little trick here. What you're gonna do is tilt your alternator as far forward as you can, get the grooves about where they gotta be. And again, make sure everything is lined up like you're supposed to. And then you're gonna take two pry bars. What you're gonna do is you're gonna do one right here. You're gonna do one on the other side. You're gonna get a bolt ready. And then you're just gonna wiggle it right into place. All right, that one's real close. You wanna tighten it all the way, and then you're gonna wiggle the other side. You gotta come here this way a little bit forward. You hold that just like that, slide your back secondary bolt, as you see I can literally finger tighten it in here. All you want to do is just kind of snug it, you can take yours out, put the other one in, just snug it down. And then, when you have a little bit left like this on the belt, all you're going to do is put your socket right here and literally rotate it real quick. Let me show you. Alright, don't start the truck right now. I actually do this part by hand just to go ahead. And what I do is I come in like this. And you can actually tilt the belt to help steer it in there. And as you see, it just popped into place. And I'll rotate a little bit. And there you go. That is how to, the simple way, to put your alternator on your 6.0 Super Duties. And you don't even got a mess of tensioners. Uh, it's almost easier to take the alternator off to do that that way than it is a mess of that pain in the butt tensioner. So I hope that helps you guys. And I'll catch you on the next one. I'm video night videos. Oh.